chief of staff. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for welcoming us at uh, Night to Win. Yeah. Surely you come from the same environment mm. where mm. blessed to be overseas mm. and get exposed to academies of yes. a bigger nature. Yeah. So is this the right way to start? Okay, I think first and foremost, thank you for the opportunity. I think this means this means a lot to us. Uh, it actually means everything to us. I mean, we might sit here and think this is just about uh, some, some clinics and kicking the ball and passing the ball, but this is about, about dreams and hopes. Uh, it's about, you know, something that you can't put uh, a price to. You know, the things that are untangible are the things that normally uh, achieve the most. So this is huge for us, you know, to, to, to see little young talent with their eyes open, dreaming, thinking, you know what, it's actually possible to, 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 to no matter where I come from, no matter how tough things are. And this is exactly where the talent comes from. You know, this is the, the boys who, who are on the street, who are playing, and you know, the one thing they love is football. So for us as a, as a football club, um, these are our academies, you know, the streets are our academies, you know, and a big shout out goes to, to Tiger and, and the team of individuals that take the time out to, to spend time with these young lads and boys and girls, you know, uh, and put the hours in and sometimes, you know, you, you don't really see that reward, you know, especially in a tangible way, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a big blessing and, and uh, very special for us. Now, bringing in into the title as the yes. executive director of sports, what does it entail, really? Well, it entails me um, obviously having a big focus on all sporting activities at the club. You know, so for me, it's very, very important that I work together with the technical staff uh, and, the, and the high management in, in, in driving across our goals, objectives that are set to us by our board and our chairman, uh, and developing the strategies for the club going forward uh, in, in sporting success. Now, you've managed to group a galaxy of stars, and eight seem to be one positive factor that you've, you've collected. I mean, you've assembled age and it's on the side of teams. What does that mean? I think what's important is, is I know that we don't spend a lot of time speaking in public about our, our squad order and our plans and people might think that you know a, a decision just, just sort of happens but it's not planned. So our squad order, we stick a, a conscious decision um, last year uh, and the start of last year to say that we want to take a different direction and we knew that we wanted to invest heavily in a two or three year plan to really really revamp the squad based on age and quality in certain key areas in the squad. If you look now, we have a totally new spine. Uh, and I think it all forms part of where we want to go. We're not done in terms of how we want to address the market, but you know, we, we are a team that always has developed a lot of talents uh, uh, and recruited smartly. And we want to get back to uh, having that as a, as a non-negotiable. So while still, I think the team has, you know, if you bring in eight, nine players in the last two years, it's very much a new team. You know, it's very much a new team. And we also wanted to take the direction of recruiting a lot of key areas, some leadership qualities. That's why you find got a given Sumango a captain, a Yusuf Marv a captain, an Ox a captain, uh, the Glockway a captain. So there's many areas in the pitch that we want to make sure that in key areas we get some, some leadership qualities. So I think we are, 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 are far from where we want to be but there's a, a certain direction that people will start to be able to see as things unfold. No. I mean, you surely are aware of what the buzz that is on social media, whether positive or negative, or maybe just in the middle. And uh, when you sit down with the technical team, because of you, you are, you are, you are the, the glue that sticks everything together. What type of discussions take place in the country? No, I think, I think to be very fair, I mean, you always need to understand that um, uh, people love this team. People love this team uh, and people want the best for this team. I think that's at the core of everything, you know. And um, what's important for us is always to stay true to the objectives and goals that we set. You know, those, those ones will always be our guiding light. And um, there's some decisions that might not be popular. There's some directions that people might not understand. But at the end of the day, it's about us knowing where we want to go and sticking to that and at the same time we understand when people voice their opinions because this club belongs to them you know this is this, this club belongs to the people so they they are our biggest stakeholder and if there's anybody in the world that that truly understand what this team is it's our fans 
So we, we, we understand that, you know, after eight years with no trophy, we understand that being out of the MTN8 now uh, and being on position eight, that's, not, that's, that's, that's never a place that we want to be. So when they voice their opinions, uh, it's, 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 very well, it's very well received because we understand the standards we hold ourselves up to are much higher. Having said that, uh, uh, we, we on our side are very much aware of what we've set for ourselves and what we're trying to achieve. And those aren't always spoken about publicly, uh, but we're, we're, we're very positive about the direction that we want to go and very optimistic. And we also just ask for our supporters to continue supporting us through tough times, through good times, and um, we look forward to the future. The last part of the show. I mean, uh, um, the football in Russia, yes. we know Chiefs way. Yes. I go back to the 70s, I don't know. This is the way Chiefs play. Is this something that we drill as part of orientating new players into the team? Definitely. I mean, there's, there's no way you can come and don, the, and don the jersey and not understand who you really are. You know, I think uh, that also informs a lot of our decisions uh, in the last couple of years in terms of the direction we wanted to take, the kind of football that we want to play. It's, uh, it's paramount that a team like Chiefs, you have to win and have success, but win in a certain way. We always say that, we always repeat it, and we're very much cognizant of the fact that that's what makes us who we are. So we are making sure that that's a big area that we, we can bring the people to identify themselves with. So we're working on that. Thank you very much. And, and oh, last one for me, what does it mean for you guys to have more players being selected now for the It's always a, it's a massive plus. As a footballer, you always want to represent your country. And you should always want to aspire to that level, not just to any club level. So it's a big plus to have uh, some of our foreign nationals going and playing overseas, back to their countries, uh, like Dove and Tlokwe and, and, and Castillo. And also for, 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 for some of our lads here to get a recognition. You know, I think that um, the guys are putting in a big shift. They're working as, as hard as they can. And you know, to represent your country is the, is the ultimate level. So uh, we, obviously, as a club, would love to see many more of our players in there. But I guess they're going to work hard and give everything they can to make sure they can raise a coursey badge to be in the front of the team.